my name is Becca. Oh, <laughs> this is Bruce. This is Bruce. <laughs> um, I am starting a YouTube channel to share with you all of my DIY projects, everything from floral arrangements to centerpieces to gifts to skincare, skincare for this little dude and treats. Our first DIY project is going to be eggshell candles um, and they are going to be centerpieces for Easter. And I'm going to show you um, what I would do for a farmhouse centerpiece and what I would do for an Easter centerpiece. So uh, I'm gonna give both options because I think that the eggshell candles would be super cute in a farmhouse. Um, but they're also really, really cute for Easter centerpieces. So let's get to it. Come on. Okay, so real quick, the supplies you're going to need. I'm using floral wire to hold my candle wicks in place. Um, you can use toothpicks or floral wire. The floral wire is from Walmart and it was 98 cents for the whole pack. Next to that, I have my 100% natural soy wax for from Hobby Lobby. Ah, from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> For $9.99. Um, there are better deals on Amazon for soy wax. It's about, I think it was 10 pounds for $15 and it came with wicks. Um, next to my soy wax, I have crafty candles, uh, wicks that I used, and I paid $2.79 for that. Next to that is my lemon essential oils, so the smell for your candle, whatever you choose. And then we have the neon food coloring along with it. <clears throat> And then you have your floral. Um, I chose seeded eucalyptus along with baby's breath. Um, you can use any kind of filler flower that will dry nicely and along with any kind of greenery that will dry nicely as well. And I will add in there any kind of eucalyptus is good for this. Along with a carton of eggs. So I'm going to use this carton of eggs along with the eggs inside of it to do this arrangement. So let's get to work. Okay, so the first step in making these eggshell candles. We have a trash bowl over here for our scraps on our eggshells and then we're gonna place our eggshells in here once we get our yolks out into the frying pan. And then I have my frying pan here and then I have my eggs over here. Okay, so here I'm gonna explain how I'm cracking the egg. I'm taking the end of a spoon and I'm just lightly cracking it one way and then turning it and cracking it the other way, kind of creating a, an X. So after I get the egg cracked open enough, as shown, I'll take the end of my spoon and I'm going to get the small pieces out of the way and put them into my trash bowl. Struggling with it pretty hardcore here. <laughs> okay so once I clean out all of the eggshells I'm going to pour my egg into the frying pan and there we are Is warm water here's my scrap bowl and here's my drying rack so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my egg out and then I'm going to peel it back to where I want it just a little more now there is this film inside the egg that you do have to clean out and what you do is you just kind of put your finger in there and it's like almost a bubble at the bottom and you kind of just scrape this layer out and I just kind of go around the whole egg. So once I get the film out, I rinse it out one more time, and then I'm going to place it over to the side on my drying rack and finish the rest of my eggs. Okay, so I am going to add in the materials I used. I will add a photo into this and it will show you everything I used and where I got it from. Here I'm adding about um, a cup of wax into a glass measuring cup that I have in a pot filled with about two inches of water. Just enough water to go over the 
cup line on the outside of my measuring cup. I have it turned on about five and it's simmering now to melt the wax. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna take and set up my eggs and get ready to pour the wax into my eggs. I'm just making sure all of my eggs are clean Okay, so while we're waiting for the wax to melt, we're actually gonna take and get our wicks ready to put into the inside of our eggs. So here I am measuring, and I am using floral wire. You can use toothpicks. Um, the floral wire, wire makes it easier with the small eggs because you're able to bend the floral wire and kind of hug into the egg, making sure that the wick won't fall down. And that's what I'm showing you right here. I'm wrapping the wick around the floral wire, and then I'm gonna take and bend the floral wire. So I'm just making sure that all of my wicks are going to match my eggs and getting it ready while I'm waiting for my wax to melt. So now that I have all of these ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them right here to keep them out of the way when I go to pour the wax. My wax is completely melted. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side over here and then I'm going to get my little oven, my little sharky oven mitt. And Pick this up. Matter of fact, I'll put that behind Lewitt. All right. And I'm going to take my essential oil of your choosing. I've chosen lemon, and I'm going to put about 12 drops. All right. And I'm going to take my spoon, stir it again. And I'm gonna go ahead and take and pour my plain wax into this egg. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my plain wax into this egg and then I will stop for a second. I think that's good enough and I'm leaving this one plain so again I'm just gonna take and put my candle wick down in there Okay, so I want to take a second right here and explain this. I had planned on dyeing my eggs a lime green so I did about 12 drops of lime green food coloring and added it to my soy wax and planned on just pouring it into the three eggs that I have there in the egg carton. It did not turn out um, the way I had expected. Um, it's You can't actually tell that the inside of the eggs are meant to be green. So I have some eggs that I'm going to use from a prior video that I actually did not use because I didn't like the video, but the eggs turned out great. So uh, my advice, I would do about 20 22 drops of green. Uh, kind of play with it. The purple and pink tend to do better when dyeing um, soy wax. So something else I actually want to add into this is it is easier to do each individual egg dyed. Um, I would go ahead and just add your wax into the egg and then do about five food coloring drops of your choosing. Uh, the lighter that the dye is, the more drops I would add. Once you've put your food coloring into the egg, take a toothpick, a straw, or even the floral wire and stir the food coloring around the egg. And then once that is done, you'll go ahead and place all your wicks back into your eggs and then you're going to wait for your eggs to take and dry. Okay, so for my final product, I am using eucalyptus and baby's breath to and along with an old egg carton. It's a cardboard egg carton, so I cut it in two and I'm making two different centerpieces. So this eucalyptus I had from a prior arrangement. I took it and hung it upside down in my shower. It's been in there for about three to four weeks now and still has green on it. Baby's Breath is another flower that you can use without water and it'll look perfectly fine for quite a while. It'll actually dry that way. So I have some pre-cut eucalyptus seed and Baby's Breath. So what I'm going to do before I add my greenery or baby's breath is figure out how I want to place my eggs. So I'm using three eggs here. 
and I'm going to take and start placing the different greens around the egg. It does not need to be perfect, it just is going to look kind of like a little nest. And you want different depths. So I kind of frame out the eggs by using the greenery to go around them and tuck up underneath them. This is why it's easier to put your eggs down first. I'm adding different depths. And again, just a little bit of green coming out from underneath the egg. Kind of frames the egg a little bit. Okay, so now I'm adding some baby's breath in, just little pieces. That right there, what I just showed you, is a high and low, and it's the different depths. So if you have a lower piece and a higher piece like that, it works out greatly. It puts the color at the bottom along with being above it as well. Just adding a little bit more baby's breath. I'm doing a voiceover because when I actually am putting the arrangement together, I ramble entirely too much. So I figured I would save you the headache and do this voiceover. And there we are. I'm just adding a little more greenery to the egg carton and a little more baby's breath. And voila, there is our finished product. So for me, I don't know how to fin or <laughs> I don't know when to quit. Okay, so here is our finished Easter arrangement. I do want to add in here, if you're not a fan of baby's breath, you can use wax flour as well. It does dry very nicely um, outside of having water. And it smells very good too and comes in several different colors. Usually pink and lavender and white are the three most popular. So perfect for a little spring and Easter arrangement. So now I'm going to take and show you my farmhouse arrangement that I did. Um, I had it already done. I used the brown seeded eucalyptus instead of the green that was in the Easter arrangement and white baby's breath along with my brown eggs. I like the look of this. I think it looks very natural and very pretty. An everyday look. Okay, so now it's your turn to do it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find these DIY projects as easy as I have and you enjoy them just as much. So we hope you guys like today's DIY project. If so, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe for future DIY projects.